All right, welcome to the 2019 Barcelona Yacht Show. Or, well, sort of. <laughs> Actually, what's happened is uh, it's finished. So, um, long story short, I applied for a uh, press pass and I didn't get one. Um, so, I wasn't, I'll, I wasn't permitted to film during the show. So, what I had to do is um, wait until the end of the show. And because I have access to the marina, I just didn't have access to film during the yacht show. Uh, so, so, but the thing is, the show's finished, and all of the agents and stuff and brokers have left. But all the yachts are still here. So, what we'll do is uh, we'll have a quick look, and I'll walk, I'll walk the whole marina, and we'll talk about some of the interesting yachts. So, so let's get on with it. Okay, so first boat we're going to look at. I'm not sure actually whether this was part of the show. This is um, Motiot Garçon. It's a 67 metre, uh, built by Amels. And she's a fast yacht support vessel for Super Yacht Ace, which is an 87 metre vessel. So she carries all the toys and a Bell helicopter. Her top speed is 25 knots, which is impressive. And it's got a cruising speed of 18 knots. I'm not sure if it's for sale, I'm not sure whether it was part of the show. It certainly won't be for charter. Um, it might just be in for repairs. So, quite strangely, that Mustang has no wheels on it. <laughs> okay, so we've got a Hermitage here. The 68 metre, that's a Lurson. And it was delivered in 2011. My favourite, my favourite design, Lurson. So, I think this was part of the show. Like I said, strangely, um, the yacht show finished yesterday, but none of the yachts left, which is very different to what happens uh, in Monaco when everybody leaves. So, uh, so as a comparison to Monaco, uh, this show had. 32 yachts in attendance it doubled its size from last year apparently when it only had 16 uh, but in the, in comparison Monaco had 125 yachts in attendance plus all of the other stuff that goes with it which this didn't have um, you know the brokers all of the tenders the pavilions with all of the equipment inside so this is just this show was um, designed for um, brokers and clients only it wasn't actually open to the public uh, although on the website it said tickets were available for sale, so I'm not quite sure which one was true. But the brokers told me that it was just for brokers and potential clients. <clears throat> so we're coming up on Lady Christina. Uh, she's a 68 metre fed ship. Uh, it was delivered in 2010 and it was refit in 2015. And she's for sale. Uh, 69 million will uh, will we'll get you uh, the keys but I would say a cheeky offer of 65 might, might clinch it so uh, and, if, and if, if you do get it then I think I deserve a, a fee <laughs> um, features a heli deck uh, sunroof a sunroof a soundproof cinema with 103 inch screen a tapanyaki grill with pizza oven and she also has a twin MTU 1322 kilowatt engines and a range of 5,000 nautical miles at 12 knots, which is impressive. She looks a wide beast as well. Right next to her there, that's Eminence. That's a 78 meter yacht. It's built by Aberking and Rus Rasmussen, which is also a good, I've worked on ships, on vessels that have been built by them and they are very good. Um, built in 2008 and approximately 100 million it cost. Uh, she has a range of 6,000 nautical miles which is very impressive with Caterpillar engines. Alright let's go and have a look further down. It looks like they're leaving. There's the pilot going on board right now. 
Yeah, they're definitely leaving. It is Solo. So Solo is, is a new yacht. So she was launched in 2018. And, and this was at the Monaco Yacht Show uh, last year. Um, now, during sea trials, they only could manage 10.7 knots. So, um, yeah, it's quite disturbing. So that was at maximum speed, 10.7 knots. So you would have a cruising speed of like six knots. So they had to go back in and they, they altered the, the hull of this vessel by adding longer skegs. And this changes the hydrodynamics uh, around, the, around the propeller area to reduce the drag. After these changes, the vessel made 17 and a half knots. So that's a new one. That's very nice looking. Antenna at the top as well. Internet antenna right at the top of the mast, which is nice. I like the colour on that one as well. Any colour that's not white, eh? So keep going. Look at this. The DB11 and uh, DB and a V8 Vantage over there, brand new. I think this one's uh, 150,000 euros. Let's have a look. Uh, 155,000 euros. There you go. So interesting. So, so these are the these are the uh, pavilions that were set up for the people that were here. So the the the, the art show was sponsored by um, by Boat International, and I think that's probably why I couldn't get in to cover it for the press because they basically had all of the coverage to themselves, uh, which is a bit selfish, I think. That was a joke, by the way. So, uh, so yeah. So, like I said, there was 32 boats in this in this year. All right. So this is secret, NY secret. There's an 82 meter, also built by Arbor King and Rasmussen, and it was delivered in 2013. And this yacht's for sale for 119 million dollars. Apparently, it cost 135 million to build. Now the owner of this, for all the Americans watching, is Nancy Walton Laurie, and you might know her because she owns Walmart. Uh, there is a rumor floating around that the reason it's been sold is because she's just bought the new 110 meter Jubilee, uh, and that was for sale last year at $310 million. Anyway, so here, I would say that this is probably the most high profile yacht that's here this is the Maltese Falcon the impressive uh, masts okay so th this hull was actually built in 1989 it was launched in 1990 the hull uh, and it was the, the shipyard that built it couldn't find a buyer for it so um, and, and they couldn't find a buyer until 2001 and um, and then the the um, the buyer the buyer decided he would fit this mass system. Now the mass system was actually designed in in the 1960s by a German engineer, uh, and unfortunately he couldn't find the right materials at the time because it's so big and huge. He couldn't find anything light enough and strong enough. So um, the design that never actually was used until more, you know until more recently. Um, so the ship's rig uh, can be con can be controlled by one person. Um, so he, he, he has a, a controller and he can he can turn that open all the mass everything one person can do that that's uh, quite impressive very cool uh, it's a very popular charter vessel and it's had people like Tom Cru Tom not Tom Cruise Tom Hanks and uh, Wolverine himself Hugh Jackman have chartered this vessel in the past and you can charter it for four hundred and eighty thousand dollars a week one of, the, one of the cool features that this vessel has is that uh, they have a projector on the fore deck and they basically lower down the, the form, forward mast and then they project the picture onto the, onto, the, onto, the, uh, onto the mast, which is quite cool. Yeah. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm already getting towards the end of, of this show um, so you can see another empty stand here this was Burgess one of the brokers 
all gone already. I actually picked up some free uh, editions of um, uh, Boat International that have been left on the floor in one of these places, so it's quite interesting. So this is Galileo G here. Look at the size of that antenna. That's a 3.4 meter antenna. And it's a small boat, it's a 55 meter boat. And it's got this huge antenna on it. And I've been trying to figure out all week, is it internet or is it television? Because it can't be both. Um, I suspect it might be internet and they just stream as television through the internet. Okay, so we've got 777 here. It's a 68 meter, built in 2006 by uh, Nobus Krug and it refitted in 2014. This is a very popular charter vessel. Uh, I saw it at Monaco. I featured it a little bit in one of my videos. Uh, and you can have this for 538,000 euros a week. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's, that's uh, we're getting to the end of it now. Um, like I said, there's 32 boats this year. Um, a lot of smaller ones. Actually, see this one here, the Menne. This actually has a famous owner. This is owned by Eric Clapton. So, yeah. And I'm afraid that's about it, really. I'll, I'll walk down to the end so you can see what else is in. Um, the smaller the vessels are down towards this end. So. In this marina, on the other side of this marina, there's some big boys. There's uh, the Moti Yacht Faith and um, uh, Moti Yacht Naya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They were not actually at the boat show. They just happened to be here, and I'm gonna feature them uh, in separate videos because um, I've filmed quite a lot specifically just for those yachts. So uh, yeah, just keep, stay tuned and you'll you'll see those soon enough. So yeah, so that's it. It's a flying visit, I'm afraid. I didn't really have an awful lot of time because I'm, I'm here, but I'm here for other reasons. Uh, and I just wanted to film this just to give you an idea of what the show is like. Uh, I'd rather film a little bit than none at all. Um, maybe next year, if I can get in, because they, they didn't even answer my emails for permission. They didn't even say yes or no. They just didn't answer me. So if I can get in next year, then I'll, I would love to come back and if it if it continues to grow at the pace of, that it did from last year so you know this time next year there might be 64 yachts and if there is and I can get in then I'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll hopefully I'll do a better review um, but yeah um, that's that's all I've got um, I'm gonna sign off um, and uh, yeah stay tuned for the videos about about faith I've got some really nice footage of faith and some really nice footage of Naya as well uh, they'll be up soon. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. You got any questions about any of the boats that were featured here? If you got any information that I missed out on that was interesting, please let me know in the comments below and, uh, and I'll get back to you soon. All right guys, bye.